Hello students, today we are going to learn about permanent tissues in harmonization of tissues. Permanent tissues, before that you know what are the tissues that are present in plant. Already explained, the last class we explained in what are the type of tissues that are in. This session I will explain about permanent tissue. Permanent tissues means nothing but this kinds of the cells is not having any cell dividing ability. Cell dividing ability that means the presence of the any one cell, this cells not producing more than number of the cells or not increase in cell number. Here only one cell that present. Example, any region, any region of the plant you take now the present in leaf. Stem. The stem before the regions the present in mastomatic tissue already you know the mastomatic cells means that cells are involved in cell dividing ability. So which is cells are present in cell dividing ability means that cells you call in mastomatic tissue. The same thing the mastomatic tissues after that nerve trunk will convert into the permanent tissue. Why means thereafter the cells is not having cell dividing ability. That kinds of the cells are classified in two types. So the permanent tissue is classified in two types. What are the first one? Simple permanent tissue. Permanent, permanent tissue is classified in two types. The first one simple permanent. Second one, simple permanent tissues means very simple. Here, except that having a answer, simple means what? It's not having any variations. It's not having any variations. Almost the presence of the cells, everything present in same kinds of the cells. Same kinds of the cells means the presence of the cells in every cells having the same cells. So, this simple permanent tissues are simple permanent cells that are present in homogeneous cell or homogeneous tissue. Homo means what? Same kinds of the cells will be composed in one group. Simple, like that having in any cell. They are present in this kind. See, here presence of the cells are almost having in same size, it's not having any variation. At the same time, cell membrane also having in same thing. Same thing, that means it is not have present in thick and thin. That means uneven cell membrane is not present. All cells having in evenly, all cell membrane present in evenly. That like cells will compose means that cell is called a simple permanent tissue. Very simple, simple permanent tissues means this then sometimes is the take place in plant we are present in homogeneous tissues that means same size here presence of the cells all cells involved in similar function they are structurally functionally similar structurally functionally similar Structurally functionally similar. Like that cell group present means the group of the cells you have to classify under a simple permanent tissue. This simple permanent tissue is classified in major in three types. What are the first one? Parenchyma. And second one, parenchyma. <coughs> complex permanent tissue is classified in two types. This complex means what? 
the same thing here itself having a group of the cell the same group of the cell the person will count as permanent tissue but all cells is not involved in similar function in case just an imagine this is complex permanent tissues means this is complex permanent tissues means the cells having an uneven the cells having an uneven <coughs> not similar cells and the here is presence of the cell membrane thick and thin layer it is not having any uniform layer and the each and every cells that are involved in individual functions is not involved in same function or similar function here then this cells involved in one function this involved in one more function and this one the example this involved in storage this involved in photosynthesis this is involved in gas exchange like that so complex permanent tissues also the present in the group of the cells but this group of the cells is not involved in similar function at the same time is not present in structurally in uniform this is uneven okay this complex tissues are classified in two types what are the first one xylem Second one, phloem. Say permanent tissue. This permanent tissue is not divided under classified in two types. In major way, simple permanent tissue, complex permanent tissue. Simple permanent tissue is again classified in three types: parenchyma, and parenchyma, and sclerenchyma. Complex permanent tissue is classified in xylem and phloem. And now I will explain one by one simple permanent tissue. simple permanent tissue simple permanent tissues means already you know homogeneous tissues that is simple permanent they are persons of the cells all cells having in structurally functionally similar or uniformly present and then this simple permanent tissue classified in parenchyma parenchyma sclerenchyma now i will explain one by one first one parenchyma parenchyma very simple this is the cell membrane thin membrane this cell present in cell membrane thin membrane that means thin membrane may be present in like this why i have drawn this two circle means you have to identify this is the thin layer this is the thick layer now we is we understood parenchyma means the present in single layer or group of the layer that layer of the cell present in thin layer that one what do you understood that purpose i draw this diagram say thin layer and then this cell wall is made up of cellulose this cell wall is made up of cellulose this parenchyma is considered in living tissue plant living tissue this parenchyma cells in plant living tissue this is plant living tissue living cell or tissue plant living tissue means if you want to understood living means that cell or part present in nucleus and cytoplasm living means any cell you consider the living tissue or living cell means that cell want to present in nucleus and cytoplasm the two things present means that cell is easily considered the living tissue and this is the thin layer and living tissue this parenchyma cells the present in all parts of the plant or all parts of the plant cell see this parenchyma is classified in some types what are the types means 
already you know the paranoma classified in palisade paranoma spongy paranoma the palisade and spongy paranoma join to fall in mesophyll mesophyll the mesophyll classified in two cells Palisade paranema and spongy paranema. Where present this mesophyll means the mesophyll take place only in leaf. Mesophyll only take place in leaf. See, this palisade paranema and spongy paranema present in leaf. That is called in mesophyll. This mesophyll cells take place in leaf. This palisade paranema contain in chlorophyll pigment. Chlorophyll pigment. That's the reason when now you see the plant, the plant presence of the leaves appearing in the two color to easily identify. Maybe the leaves are present in like this. This like present in leaf means the surface of the leaf is present in the dark green and the lower space is not present in dark. Compared to the two regions, it is identified. Why means because of the surface region present in palisade paranema and bottom of the leaf is present in spongy paranema. The palisade paranema means the presence of the cells that tightly arrange the joint together without intercellular space. How will arrange the spirulose paranema in leaf means the present in cylindrical structure or cell is elongated like this present and then in between is not present in cellular in space like this like that present spongy paranema present in like this lower epidermis. See, you see the two diagram. Here, one cells that are having in the more dots. The each dots will consider green pigment. Each dots will consider green pigment. Any one cells that take place in green pigment means that cell you call in chloranguema. That cells you call in chloranguema or chloroplast. That chloroplast that take place in chlorophyll pigment. We are having in more dots. Each dots we are considering in green pigment. The green pigment, the maximum the present means that is called in chloroplast. Chloroplast is directly involved in photosynthesis process. Directly involved in photosynthesis process. That's the reason the leaf surface are present in dark green color. Now you understood why the leaf are having in two different colors for the reason. See, the paranoma is basically classified in mesophyll and the air main. Another one type, air and thing. Air and thing means the presence of the parallel muscles. Here, present in parallel muscles, parallel muscles means already you know the thin layer and then you can be the present in between the having in some space. That is intercellular. In case that cell group of the Paranema having in large hair space. Large hair space, the present means that is called in hair and nema. Hair and nema type of the cells that are present in only hydrophytes. The good example for in lotus. This is hair space. Hair space, the present. This kinds of the cells that are present in only hydrophytes plant. Hydrophytes plants means you know aquatic plants. Which plants can grow in inside of the water? The plants all are you considering in hydrophytes. So hydrophytes plants are present in hermaphrodite. Why they are present in hermaphrodite? Because of the plants want to float the surface of water. 
The good example you throw than any thermocol sheet means that it is floating the water molecules. Why? Because of the presence of the molecules they are having in space. That space they fill in, fill in large quantity of hair molecules. So like the, here the presence of the space they are storing in hair molecules in more day. They are more representing means they easily the float the surface of water. That is air name. And then Chlorine. Chlorine. Chlorine means here presence of the polys and chlorine. Like this. Before I explain in use of the the same thing. But they are mentioned in the cylindrical structure of the animal, they are not mentioned that they are having in round and spiral shape. Tiger represents the group of the cells in between the having in green dots. This thing present means that is called in chloroplast or chloronemo. This cells are directly involved in photosynthesis. Now we have understood which shape the present in parangaima like that anyone asking in general it means just if you want to say the parangaima present in round shape or polyhedral shape or irregular shape or cylindrical shape present in inside that plant but that having in some types what are that torangaima, yarangaima, mesophils, mesophils they classified in the two polycent parangaima and spongy parangaima and then moreover here present in one more kinds of type Silo-parangaima and chlorine-parangaima Silo-parangaima means the parangaima cells attach to the silum Parangema cells attach to the xylem, that is called in xylem parangema, the same thing. Parangema cells attach to the proem, that is called in proem parangema. What is the main function of the parangema means? Very simple, there are few functions only. First function is the parangema cells involved in directly in photosynthesis. Directly involved in photosynthesis. Why this cell involved in photosynthesis means because of that cells that take place in chlorophyll pigment. The chlorophyll pigment that present means directly involved in photosynthesis. And second one, food storage. Food storage means the panorama cells in between the present in intercellular space. That space fulfilled in some food material.